Oh, goody. All right, what's going on, everybody? Zombies here again. And today we're back with another Pokemon Pocket video. So in this one, we're taking a look at a new deck I've been trying out. Played this for a couple hours last night and had a lot of fun and a surprising amount of success with it. And this is a Kabutops focused fighting deck. So Kabutops is a stage two Pokemon and it evolves from the Dome Fossil. So Dome Fossil kind of unique. It doesn't actually count as a basic. So you can't search it up with the Pokeball and you can't get it as one of your guaranteed starting Pokemon in your opening hand, which is a little bit of a downside at times. Uh, but in general, just getting that Kabutops as the final evolution is a really, really strong thing to be doing. Because Kabutops has a solid amount of health coming in at 140 and a 50 power attack leech life, which heals per damage dealt. So this is a Pokemon that when you do get it to switch in, it can very easily heal off the damage it is taking and put opponents in a pretty awkward position uh, if they don't have a massive amount of burst damage from like a Charizard or a Mewtwo in order to one hit KO it. So Kabutops definitely the bread and butter of this deck. I have been a little hesitant on uh, some of these stage two evolutions because, you know, sometimes you don't get your pieces and it's awkward. You're missing your final evolution or maybe you don't get the dome fossil. Sometimes there will be awkward hands where that doesn't happen. Uh, but I was pleasantly surprised at how often the deck did seem to perform very well. Santru is going to be our main basic here though. Santru evolving into Sandslash. Sandslash is just a good beater. 100 HP, 70 damage, really decent stage one Pokemon. And then we do have a one of Cubone and Marowak EX in the deck. Uh, so I only have one copy of Marowak, but even if I had a second, I don't think I would run it. One of the benefits of this deck I find is that the fact that we're very light on EX Pokemon is actually a benefit here because it forces the opponent to have to knock out three of our Pokemon instead of just an EX and one more. So I found that to be fairly beneficial. Marowak does carry some games. It is a strong addition, uh, but the thing this deck is focused around is much more Kabutops and Sandslash than the Marowak angle. And I think it's stronger for that. In terms of our supporter cards here, obviously we got Oak and the Pokeball running two of Giovanni. Just having that extra 10 damage can be really, really important on breakpoints with Sandslash as well as Kabutops mainly, sometimes Marowak, uh, but usually Kabutops and Sandslash appreciate the extra 10 damage more uh, than Marowak does. Also putting extra damage on Kabutops makes him heal for more, which can sometimes be relevant. Uh, and then we are running a split of one and one on Sabrina and Potion. Uh, so I do think Sabrina is really, really good. Um, but Potion has also been clutch a number of times, uh, mainly against things like Mewtwo, where they have that Mewtwo who's going to be hitting you for 50 early on. Uh, you can heal up your Sand Slash so it can get in a second hit, which lines up a kill for your Kabutops or another Sand Slash or Marowak. So I found that to be very impactful, having at least one of the Potion. You could experiment with those slots there. You could even try going down one Giovanni, up one Sabrina. Uh, but I do think I want to leave at least one potion in the deck as there have been a number of times where just having that one potion has saved me the game. And as good as Sabrina is in a lot of situations, there are also on the flip side, a lot of situations where she actually doesn't do a whole lot compared to our other support cards, uh, like drawing or just getting that extra bit of burst damage when you need it. So yeah, I was pleasantly surprised with this deck. It is the most fun I've had with one of my own personal brews in a while. Uh, and yeah, if you've been looking for a way to use the Dome Fossil Kabuto Kabutops line, I think this is a really solid way of doing it. But that's the deck. We're going to get right on to some games with it. Before we do, if you enjoy this type of content, remember to like and subscribe. It does a ton to help out the channel. It keeps the videos coming. And if you want to see more Pokemon Pocket stuff, stay tuned here on YouTube or over on Twitch, as I'm going to be streaming it a lot this month leading up to global release. But without further ado, let's dive into the games. Going second... So we got, we just need our Kabuto. Sand Slash would also be cool. Pikachu.
Second Pikachu. Alright, I did not need second Kabutops. We really just need Sand Slash. Oh no, that's not good. Kabuto, all right, next best thing, I guess. That is the next best thing. I guess I'll play my Dome Fossil. Actually, I probably shouldn't. Although, if I get another Kabuto, I want to, but... Well, my Pokemon's gonna end up dying anyway, so I'll have space, so I might as well in case I top deck the Kabuto. So they're gonna revenge, they're gonna kill my Sand Shrew, and then I get a revenge kill them with Kabutops. Kabutops look so cool, man. I've always loved this Pokemon. All right, big rip for Sand Slash. Draw two, don't mind if I do. Another draw two and a Marowak. So, big weakness here. KO the Pikachu. Puts them in a pretty awkward spot. Yeah, they're looking pretty done. Another Raichu. And a Magnemite. So they're gonna like tank a hit here with Pikachu probably. And then be forced to switch it out. Okay. Sabrina. Sabrina doesn't actually do anything too crazy here. So we'll just draw two. Sand Slash is nice. Big damage. attack me. You know if they have Giovanni, it's not enough. We're just going down swinging, I guess. They're going down swinging. <laughs> I mean, with that bench, I, I don't really blame them, to be honest. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Kabutop Supremacy. Oh, it heals the... It heals the... Uh, the extra weakness damage, too. I didn't know that. That's sweet. Kabutops W. Let's go. As playable. <laughs> but it looks cool. I don't even know what Brock does, to be honest. I just know he's, like, widely viewed as the worst support. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Now I feel like I can... Uh, Kind of play just about everything I want to play. And I'm going to save all my resources for the future. 
just open my packs as I get them. Surge is also not one of the best, but he seems more playable than Brock. Like, he at least has a niche. Brock, I don't even think, uh, like, has a niche. All right, you have a good night, too, Blue. Thanks for popping in. Ba, 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 ba. This is concerning. Bro, I need my fossils. Where are my fossils at? Oh, come on. Wait. Wait. Did the Pokeball fail the search? No, it didn't, right? Did I accidentally take out the Cubone? No shot, right? I haven't played Raichu Surge yet because Raichu is one of the, the like seven Pokemon I haven't opened. <laughs> I've ran into it a few times though. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's just one of those Pokemon that's been avoiding me. Uh, if we get Sand Slash off the top, we can KO the Jinx. Dome Fossil, let's go. Not too bad. Hit him with the scratch. What does their attack do? Is it more based on energy? Yeah. Okay. So we can get Kabuto and then Kabutops. Mewtwo is very scary if they find their Gardevoir. So Sandslash would be the best off the top here. Sabrina. All right, I mean, that can help with Mewtwo. All right, evolve. Um, how much steel? 50. So I'm going to use one of my Giovanni's here. Is there any reason not to put this on? I don't think so. I'll go swinging. This way we can knock it out with Kabutops next turn if they don't heal. But our start was a little bit too slow. Cubone, all right. Don't mind seeing that. We will retreat. And pop this on here. Leech life. Here's hoping no Gardevoir off the top. Guardivar would wreck me pretty hard. They didn't send in the Mewtwo yet. That's surprising. Bro, why would they not send in the Mewtwo if they have Guardivar? Don't understand. Just saving it for the, to be like the last swap in? Okay, now they're going to swap it in now. Yeah, I think we're a wee bit cooked here. Uh, can Marowak save us? Yeah, if it gets two f heads. If it gets two heads, we win, actually. Winnable game. Heart of the cards, baby. Heart of the cards. We always trust Marowak here. Always trust Marowak. He never lets us down. Not a singular time. 
switching them out with Sabrina wouldn't really do anything because we would they would just switch it back in. So we're going for the kill. Double heads. Bro, it's just that easy. It's just that easy. Get out of here, Mewtwo. Meta deck conquered by uh, Kabutops and friends. Marowak kind of carrying that one, but. All right, we need a dome, please. One dome. Misty, calm down, Misty. All right, she calmed down. All right. Oh, please find me a fossil, dude. Please. Oh, it's so lit, dude. It is incredibly lit. Get scratched. Do 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 Sand Slash go Kabuto go Be researching out here Yeah this hand was really good Gonna blast them for some big damage. Now they're in range of getting killed by either Sand Slash or Kabuto with the Giovanni buff. Okay. A lot of Articuno tonight. Sabrina forcing a switch, sure. Feels a little desperate, if you ask me. Oh, I probably should have switched in the sand slash, but it's not that big of a deal. Or the sand true, because we will go give this an energy. We will retreat it. Giovanni time. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty sick spot to be in. Now, even if they have a Starmie, unless they have Misty, they can't use it right away and it won't kill us. So they're they're in a real rough spot. We've got our Kabutops going too, which can just sustain itself very easily. How did I place the cards in the deck I'm playing? Like the deck tracker thing I have on the screen? There's an external website I used for that, which you can find here.
Choose a Pokemon to switch in. Um, Kabutops it is, I guess. Do, 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 do. Potion needed. Let's hit him with the leech life. Is there any advantage to the fossil mechanic? Um, nothing really that I've noticed other than, like, if you find the fossil being, if you think that the fossil being on your bench suddenly becomes like a downside for some reason, um, you can discard it and get rid of it. And I don't know if that get that counts as a kill or not. If it does count as a kill, then yeah, there's like not real advantage there. You could argue that there's a little bit of an advantage in the fact that um, it means I'm always getting either Sandshrew or Cubone as my basics because they don't count as basic Pokemon. I don't know if that's an advantage in this deck in particular, but it's interesting. Uh, so I can heal. I guess I'll use the Giovanni just to heal for more. So I'll heal for 60. I go up to 110. Yeah. Should be good. Do 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 do. Yeah, they're just donezo. Kabuta's got us there. Kaboo tops got us there. Easy W. We've won a lot with this deck tonight. Like it's actually been on a tear. The Pokemon videos are really funny because a lot of them, I, I didn't expect a lot going into it because like I'm building up a new channel and all this stuff, right? Um. But uh, the Pokemon videos are funny because they'll start off getting like very few views, but they like steadily climb. I don't know what to make of that, but the first one I did got like 2k views, which I'm pretty pleased with for like a whole new channel. Oh, it's not really. It's a it's a repurposing of the old VOD channel, but it's basically a new channel. But yeah, I'll link the uh, I'll link the the fire aggro here. It's pretty, it's pretty budget friendly. It doesn't use any X Pokemon. It's just Blaine and Ninetales and Rapidash. So we're playing a fighting deck. Haven't seen a whole lot of fighting. I, I don't think I've seen any fighting today. Yeah, it is very early in the lifespan of the game. Um, I think we're going to see this game pop off on launch, though. Launch is on the 30th, full launch for everybody, and I think this game is going to do really well. I think there are going to be a lot of people who are interested in it, because I feel like I'm one of the target demographics who they wanted this game to appeal towards. I'm a big Pokemon fan. I used to collect the cards when I was younger. I never played the card game. I never learned how to play it, never played it ever. I knew nothing about it. And so learning the game for the first time through this game has been really fun. All right, so I'm gonna force a switch here with Sabrina and just knock something out. Sandslash, take us home. But yeah, the games are 
the game was like fairly easy to learn, but there is depth to it, which was important to me. And then the other thing that it does really well, and this is the, the spot where I think it competes with Snap, is the games are very fast paced. Like it has that same feeling of the games are quick enough to where I always just want to be like, all right, one more game. And that is a good formula. It's a little slower than Snap. Like the games are probably like, I don't know, on average, more like seven minutes, I would say. Sometimes they're faster though. But I think seven is more like an average. All right, that's not a bad draw. Played for a bit, uh, but I was too young and I had to rely on my parents to bring me to Saturday's tournaments. So it lasts less than a year. The time I was autonomous, it was magic time already. Yeah, understandable. Understandable. Potion's good here. I feel like Pocket is meant to be low barrier to entry for people who like Pokemon to be able to experience the card game without the hassle of getting the physical version 100%. That's exactly how I feel about it. And that appeals to me greatly. Oh, we are about to get smacked by this Machamp. If we top deck Kabutops though, can we knock it out? No, we can't. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Opinion on Arbok Pidgeot? I like it. I like it. I've tried that. Oh, we got it. We're in this game. Let's go. It's huge. Huge top deck. That's going to be... I'm probably going to check out that deck this weekend. I played a little bit of it um, a few days ago. If you have a list handy, I'd love to see what your version was looking like. I don't, I don't remember the one I brewed. I just remember I ran both of those because it seemed like a fun combo. Oh yeah, I could definitely see myself streaming the Pokemon, the, the Game Boy game at some point. I have a lot of friends who have highly recommended that. No! How dare you, Matchamp? You rude ass. Bullying my humble Sandshrew. Cool, I'll take a look. Yeah, that seems solid to me. Oh, jeez, dude. All right, Kabutops. We're going to have an easy game here, bud. We're just going to have their Marowak miss a million and one times, and then we're good. That's all we need. Do, 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 do. Don't do it. Don't you do it, Marowak. Don't do it. All right, he didn't do it. He didn't do it. Frostmoth is a goat. I'm a big Frostmoth fan. Play this in case I get my own Marowak. Do this. Uh, so I ended up paying for a month of a VPN because I didn't know there was a free one. <laughs> I use Proton. You can get, I think some of the VPN services have like a month free trial. So you can get it for like a buck or something. Yeah, obviously playing the Cubone does make us weaker to uh, second Sabrina. But I think it's worth just in case we get our own Marowak. Oh, that's, that's big, dude. That's big. It is risky. We have four cards left. Let's 
I mean, I guess I might as well play the dome in case I get... Like, we already made ourselves vulnerable by having Cubone on the bench, so there's no reason to hold back the dome. Punch him. Now they're in an awkward spot, though, because unless they flip two heads, we get a revenge kill them. Kabutab's better than Venusaur. Venusaur's pretty good. I haven't, uh... I haven't um, tried it yet, but I just got my uh, like I tried it a little bit, but it was wasn't fully built out. I got my second Venusaur today, so I'm gonna try that soon. All right, this is a situation where we want Marowak off the top. Buto. I really prefer the non-EX Venusaur with Caterpie and Lilligan. Interesting. I've heard about Caterpie in Venusaur stuff, and I'm interested to try that. Okay, all right. So... I should just switch here. We'll draw two. Marowak, Sand Slash. Unfortunately, I can't switch in, go for the kill. I mean, I could go for the kill with Marowak. That's probably the move, huh? Because even if I don't get the kill, as long as I hit once, I can win. Fuck it. There's no reason not to. Gives me a chance of winning right now. And worst case, if it doesn't win, I can just revenge kill next turn. Um, energy will go here. It doesn't really matter. All right. Kabutops Gaming. What's up, Safety? Yeah, we've been winning a lot with Kabutops tonight. Kabutops has been going hard. So now they have to YOLO. They have to send in their Marowak and go for double heads, basically. Kabutops has been cleaning house, though. Like, this, this deck has actually been killing it for me. Do I need two Kabutops for this? I think it's better with two Kabutops, yes. I think it is better. If you don't have second Kabutops, you could just want run one of the line and run like, I don't know, Farfetch or other good fighting types. All right, we win. Pog, we did it. We got there. That was a close game. Do, 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 do. All right, uh, we got a sand true. We need our fossils, though. You too. Okay, draw two. Dome, hell yeah. And two Pokeballs, also good. Gets all of our basics out of our deck. No reason not to play him. We just need Kabutops and we're gaming. Sand Slash, not bad either. We will evolve. Do I want to get the chip damage in for 10? 10. 10 could actually matter, so I think I will. Although we have Giovanni. What does this do? 
not that useful. Um, I mean, you can't KO me, right? So I think I'd rather get damage in than evolve. And then next turn I could, if they don't have, if they aren't able to evolve the Ralts, I can just Sabrina them and get rid of it. Although that might not even be the move. Might just want to damage the Mewtwo. All right, so we're definitely evolving. And we're going to heal out of range. I mean, I think we just hit the Mewtwo. Because if they don't have healing, they're worried about it getting KO'd next turn. They do have healing, but we can revenge kill it. Giovanni, that's not enough. Bro, where's Kabutops? I need you, Kabutops. Do do. I mean, we're in a pretty great spot. Second potion is fine. Oh, we're so good, dude. We're so good. They only got one kill with their Mewtwo. That, is in a, that puts us in a very good spot. And we got the Kabutops, that's huge. Uh, I guess probably want to power up Cubone in case I get Marowak. That is very big. Shutting down Mewtwo is now my passion in life based. It does feel good to shut down Mewtwo. I think we got this one locked up. Sabrina, sure. Come on in, Cubone. Red card? My Giovanni's, no. Oh, but you gave me Marowak. <laughs> And we have Sabrina and get another Kabuto going. But the game might just end here. Oh, don't do it, Marowak. All right, phew. Funk. Get out of here, Mewtwo. Easy clap. <laughs> 